بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين أشهد لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أوصي نفسي وإياكم بتقوى الله عز وجل I have few things I want to tackle about uh, mainly after praising the Almighty Allah wa ta'ala peace and blessings be to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alladhi ja'ana bil huda wa din al haqq liyudhhirahu ala din kulli wa law karha al mushrikun the one who came with true religion even though non believers had a religion uh awalan uh uridu an ubayyana lakum ma ma'ana al-islam i would like to explain to you what is the meaning of islam islam so islam means peace ah qawluhu ta'ala la yukallifu allah nafsan illa wus'aha ah islam is not there to harden somebody's life like other people look around and then think like that that islam is tiresome religion something like that no it is mainly protect your life towards the devil towards shaitan or rajim uh, whenever you think of doing good things shaitan rajim will come across towards you telling you that no you're wasting time but uh, allah tabarak wa ta'ala says wa ma tujzawna illa bima kuntum ta'malun I won't pay you unless I will pay you for what you're doing. Uh, you know that what you're doing is what you will be paid for. And then there are two ways. Uh, you rather choose a right path or you choose a wrong path. If you're to go with the right path, that is mainly al-amal swaleh. If you do good deeds, they are the ones that will uh, point you towards a, a, a right path. Uh, how, how is your behavior? How do you behave? How do you behave towards people? Uh, how do you behave in a society? Uh, that is what they call uh, al-Islam. Al-Huda. Al-Huda. Allahu yahadi man yasha. Al-Huda huwa amal suwale. Al-Huda means good deeds. And al-Din al-Haq huwa amal suwale. If you're doing good things, then that means you're on a right path. Al-Huda. Nabiuna Muhammad uh, the Quran says lakad kana fikum rasulullah uswatul hasana that really Nabiuna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he is a good example he taught us everything in our religion in terms of health cleaning yourself uh, how how should a muslim sleep when you're going to sleep, what should, how should you sleep so that you can be protected from the evil, from the devil? Lakad sarafa fi hadha al-Quran min kulli mathalin. Ma taraka shayin illa kad jaa fi hadha al-Quran. Wa kad jaa fi wa kad takallam al-Rasul an hadha. Nothing that was left without being tackled by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Ah, Allahu Tabarak wa Taala. You utwa dunya liman yuhibbahu wa man la yuhibbahu. 
walakin Allahu yu'ta ad-din liman yuhibbu faqat Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he gives this life of the world to everyone whether you like it or not uh, and he will give what uh, what is recommended towards you what you're supposed to get is not that people are so confused like uh, you find someone is not praying is not doing what but he's rich and he has everything that is uh, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala uh, la yadhlum Allahu laysa dhalim uh, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he pays what to do for uh, that's what uh, I would like uh, all Muslims to know that God does not betray and God does not look at one side people may not like you that mean that, that doesn't mean that even Allah tabarak wa ta'ala doesn't like you pray to him call him he will be there he doesn't segregate he doesn't choose that this is black this is brown this is we are all from adam wa ilahuna wahid Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is one who created everything everything on this world uh, what I would like people to know that there are things you do in your life and then they affect your living they affect your risk they affect your blessings something like that like if you betray somebody's if you betray someone then you will pay for it Keep that into your minds uh, and everything you do Allahu tabarak wa ta'ala there is two angels who are responsible for that if you do something good an angel writes if you do something bad an angel writes so before doing something bad you first think twice about al adhabullahu inna inna adhabullahu shadid you can't hold God's punishment, my brother. Keep that into your mind. And then pray to be protected from the devil. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, وَمَا مُعَذِّبَكُمْ إِلَّا قَدْ أَرْسَلَهُمْ وَمَا مُعَذِّبَهُمْ إِلَّا قَدْ أَرْسَلَهُمْ رسول. I won't punish. We can't punish you unless we've sent you a messenger. And all generations, the... Uh, like the ayah says, وَلَكَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٍ أَنِئْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُوا التَّعْهُدٍ We have sent for every group of people a messenger. Truly worship Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala and stay away from worshipping Shaitan Rajim. Tawhud. Yeah, believe in one God, you will achieve your calls. That is uh, what Allah wants you. Allah doesn't need anything from you. Allah la yuhibbu amwalakum idhan. You read taqwa minkum. Man atkakum. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atkakum. Idhan kulluna sawa min wajhillahi. كلنا سواء لا لا فضل العرب الجميع ولا فضل الجميع العربية إذا كلنا واحد خلقنا الله من تين من تراب وجدنا خلقنا جدنا آدم من تراب ونحن من العدم إذا وصي نفسي وإياكم بتقوى الله عز وجل I call upon you all to fear Allah tabarak wa ta'ala uh, fear, fear Allah fear of the Lord is to do what God recommended you what God ordered you to do like if you're a Muslim you're supposed to pray five times a day uh, you are also supposed to perform fasting during the 
period of fasting, uh, you're supposed to amur bil ma'aruf, advise people to do good things. You're supposed to be away from evil things, evil places. That's when Allah Taala will make you uh, his friend. Uh, during uh, the last pilgrimage of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him stood up and said Al-yawma akmaltu lakum tinakum wa atmamtu ilaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-islam adhina uh, that today I have made your religion complete nothing I have left and I've uh, uh, I may I make this towards you that Islam should be your religion. So you know that you, what you believe in is truth. Uh, do everything for the sake of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala wa la tajallillahi antada wa antum ta'lamun. Never set rivals against Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, yet you know that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala does not like that. Uh, another, thing, uh, another thing that is so sensitive in Islam is everything you do, you need to be with an intention, a niyyah. Uh, if you intend, what is intention? Intention is the rate of love you have towards something. The rate you have towards your Lord, the rate of love you have towards your Lord will protect you from doing evil things. Uh, yeah, and it will uh, it will protect you from God's tests. Cause Allah Tabarak wa Taala said, "La nablwa nakum hatta naala man man mujahidin minkum. I will test you. Wa man hum aswabirun minkum. I will test you to know who is patient amongst you. So if you get a problem, that is Allah. Allah." Kadir ala kulli shayin. Ithan isbiru ma aswabak. Wadhkur rabbakan kathir. And then remember Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. You know that that is very small towards your Lord. Ithan hadha laysa akwal li. Kawl Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallim. Wa kawl Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Uh, another thing I would like to tackle, another thing I would like to talk about is Al Amr Bil Ma'aruf, advising people to do good things. The more you keep on advising people to do good things, the more you're purifying your own soul, the more you will also get protected of your soul. Uh, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, Kuntum khaira umma ukhrijat li nas ta'muruna bil ma'aruf wa tanhuna anil munkar. You're the chosen umma, chosen from all people, Muslims. Uh, those who will advise people to do good things and those who will advise people to live wrong thing. Kuluna sawa'un min wajhillah walakin alladhi huwa ashraf alladhi huwa akram min wajhillah huwa alladhi yattakullah wa yafal al-hasanat wa ya'mur bil ma'rufin wa yanha anil munkar سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك